going on guys and welcome back to another video so what we got going today is the oldest players in the current NBA versus the youngest players in the NBA so let me introduce to you first the oldest team we got Jason Terry at point guard Manu Ginobili at the shooting guard position then you got Vince Carter at small forward Dirk Nowitzki and Paul Pierce these guys will be representing the oh wait I gotta make one switch I'm gonna put Nowitzki at center, just because we do kind of, we do have two small fours, I don't know why I have adjustment there. All right, let me go introduce to you guys the youngest team. Okay, so for the youngest team, we had a couple issues because there was a lot of centers on this team, three centers to be exact. So Brandon Ingram, because he's the most athletic, is going to be playing point guard. Marquise Chris is going to be at shooting guard. Thon Maker at small forward. Georges Poppy Giannis, not sure how to say his name, is going to be at the power forward position. And then Dragon Bender is going to be playing center. If you guys enjoy these verse challenges, please be sure to drop a like down below. A thousand likes would be absolutely awesome. And I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay, so let me explain to you guys real quickly how these work. The first quarter, um, or the first half, my bad, I'm going to be playing with the old team. So I'm going to be playing with all the oldest guys in the NBA. And we're going to see what the score is then. Then I'm going to play the second half with the young team. And we should have a decent idea after that who is the better team. Just, just based on who I... Dirk! What was that, man? What was that? But we should have a decent idea after that who's better. But the, also, I'm really curious in this video who is. Because I think, it, I think it could be interesting to see who would win. I think a lot of people would be interested to see, like, are these 19-year-olds better than the, like, veteran 38-year-olds? Um, so I'm going to have a one-minute quarter simulation game going on where you guys can just sit back, relax, and watch and see what happens. Oh, nice pass to Dirk underneath. He's jumping. Dirk Nowitzki, he's going to make that every single time. And I thought I'd go with the San Antonio jerseys. Utah, I didn't have much thought to them. I just had never used the Utah jerseys. I thought I'd go with the San Antonio jerseys for the older team. Just because they are, like, generally an older team in the league. Um, just because that's kind of how they, like, have their players. They do have young guys, but they got Ginobili on that team and Tony Parker. Like, they're definitely a veteran group. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh my gosh, Dirk! It's like he hasn't aged at all. Oh my gosh. Same with Vince Carter. These guys are... Did you guys see that block? That was probably one of the coolest blocks I've, I've seen. That I absolutely loved that that happened. I'm very happy that I was able to make that block. Okay, Brandon, they have a huge team, these guys. Absolutely huge. Like, their lineup is so tall. Ginobili's got a wide open run to the basket. Easy layup. You know he's not one to do a ton of dunking. And I'm up 6-2 with the old team. And I'm enjoying playing with these guys. Like... They have a lot of good stats. Ginobili's got some good passing stats. Pierce. Like, I think in my, if I had to choose a team to, like, go with, I would probably choose the older team. Just for obvious reasons, I think they had to have a better chance of winning a championship. But these young guys in the long run, obviously I'm going to go with the young guys. Because Brandon Ing Ingram, Thon Maker, those are all, like, those are all absolute studs. Um, but, yeah, we're going into the second quarter. Okay, Ginobili, stop. Wide open three, green release, let's go. That's why I love Ginobili. I never get to play like with teams in this game. I don't do a lot of stuff with like this different like online. I mostly do a lot of these challenges. So it's fun for me to get to play with players that I don't often get to use. There's Ingram. That was nice. I, I can't even say anything about that. That was absolutely gorgeous what he just did. Okay, go Jason Terry. Stop. Move it over. That's wide open. He's jumping. The young guys are jumping in the air, and you can't just start jumping in the air. Or people are going to make you look silly. Okay, 11-6 to 6 now. They got Chris at shooting guard. That's their biggest advantage slash disadvantage is the lack of, like, ball carriers that this young team has. Oh! That's three shots. Oh, over. Wide open. Jason Terry, and he hits it. Good stuff. Okay, 14-9 to 9 now. Not as good, but like these teams are evenly matched. Like it's tough because like the defensive side of the like the young team, they have the inside all covered. But like, oh dang it, he's going the line for that. They're in the bonus. One more like elite. I don't care. Oh, there we go. Nice pass, easy dish. Paul Pierce, and like I said, the veterans they just make stuff like that happen. They're a smooth bunch, and I feel like that's a lot of how they would play. If oh Jason Terry, go. You don't have much time. Three seconds. Oh, I, I got the dunk, though. We got the dunk, Paul Pierce, 18 to 10. And I'm going to have some work to do with this young team. Okay, go, Brandon. Go, Brandon Ingram. Pass it over. 
Right there, you got a guy right underneath. You got Bender right underneath. Go up with a good dunk, good stuff. Okay, that's going to make it 22 to 12. I'm down by 10, though. I got some definite work to do with this young team. Things aren't going to be easy. I got to start playing a lot better defense, and I can't, like, risk a reach in or anything right now because they automatically are going to go to the line. Oh, Pierce, wide open three. That's a miss. Good stuff. Okay, get running, Brandon Ingram. I'm taking the three with him right now. I'm taking the three. Not a great release, and it shows... Oh, I needed to hit that so badly. Work to do with this young team. I don't want this to be the biggest blowout ever. I really don't, because this is has the making to be one of the biggest blowouts in these challenges ever. I got to play aggressive, but if I guess, giving him a shot at it. Underneath, go up with it. Oh, good. He's jumping. He's jumping. Get the basket. 26 to 16. Not much time left, though, guys. Not much time to be huge. I just got one. Oh no, Jason Terry wide open. That's it. That's it, guys. I don't think I can recover from that one. I honestly don't know if I can recover from that one. Oh, Bender can dribble. They get the steal. Take a miracle to get a block. That's going to make it 31 to 18. Curious to see if the simulation will show the exact same. I think it probably will. Okay, Thonmaker to Bender. Let's, I don't want to just go up with that. I got Thonmaker on a nice, easy shot. Okay, 33 to 20. Those are just those are just garbage points. They used to say in one of the, I think it was the NHL or something, uh, when referring to like the empty net, like get a couple, get a, get a goal at the end of the game and go tell mom you had a good game. That's that's how this is like. Get a couple points at the end, hit a layup and go tell mama you had a good game. Uh, I just got a stupid foul with Ingram. That is pretty much going to end the game. I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything lately. Um, I hope you enjoy watching the one minute simulation. Make sure to comment down below what your thoughts were on the results. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
Jack is my